Hello and welcome to the channel. The opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, has responded to claims credited to President Buhari that the opposition lost the February 25th presidential election because they were overconfident and complacent. And now, they are asking that the international community restrict Buhari in his movement after May 29th. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Impose visa ban on Buhari after May 29, PDP urges international community. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has called on the international community to impose visa ban and other travel restrictions on President Muhammadu Buhari over his comments on the 2023 elections, saying he was gloating over Nigeria's worst election in recent memory. Also, PDP accused the president of attempting to bully the judiciary, which is currently handling electoral petitions into giving legitimacy to a clearly flawed election, asking that the sanctions be extended to all those involved in manipulating the outcome of the 2023 elections. The party's national publicity secretary of PDP, Debo Ulogunagba, made a call at a briefing in Abuja on Friday. PDP is responding to claims by President Buhari that the opposition lost the 2023 elections to the ruling Holt Progressives Congress APC because of overconfidence and lack of strategy. The president said it in the State House when he received the Progressive Governors Forum led by its chairman, Governor Abubakar Bagudu of Kebi State. Buhari had said, They were already telling their foreign backers that they will defeat the APC. Our party blended confidence with caution. We worked hard and won. Now, their overconfidence is creating more problems for the opposition than anyone else. Reacting today in Abuja, PDP said it did not lose the presidential election as claimed by Buhari. According to Logan Agba, we are not willing to surrender the mandate freely given to our party by the people irrespective of the threats, bullying and manipulation by the APC-led administration. Having clearly undermined democracy in Nigeria, the PDP calls on the international community to accordingly impose sanctions, including visa ban and travel restrictions on President Buhari and his family immediately vacates office on May 29. This demand for sanction is in line with President Buhari's request on February 17, 2022 in Brussels, Belgium, wherein he called on the European Union EU to impose weighty sanctions on those engaged in unconstitutional change of governments as well as those influencing the process and outcomes of elections. The PDP also demands an open investigation into the roles played by President Buhari in the undermining of democracy in Nigeria in the 2019 and 2023 presidential elections. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, in other PDP-related news, the 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar has advanced reasons why Asiwa Jubola Tinubu should not have been declared as the president-elect of Nigeria. Tinubu, who contested on the platform of the Hull Progressives Congress APC, was declared as the winner of the February 25th presidential election in Nigeria by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. However, Tinubu's victory has been challenged in court by Atiku. According to a response to Tinubu's preliminary objection filed before the presidential election petition court in Abuja, Atiku claims, among other things, that the dual citizenship posed by Tinubu disqualifies him from contesting the presidential election. Recall that Tinubu's reported citizenship of Guinea, which surfaced after the election, has been a trending topic on social media and conventional media. A Guinean ambassador to African Union AU for Agenda 2063, Usman Yara, later clarified that the former president of Guinea, Alpha Conde, recognized Tinubu as a special envoy. Notwithstanding, 
Article in the response filed by his lawyer, Chris Uche, maintained that Tinubu's declaration as the winner of the 2023 presidential election was undue, unlawful, and invalid because it did not meet the constitutional requirements. The PDP flag bearer further argued that Tinubu didn't disclose facts of his constitutional qualifications in his form EC9 submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The former vice president said Tinubu has demonstrated inconsistency as to his actual date of birth, secondary schools he attended, his state of origin, gender, actual name, certificates evidencing universities attended. Other grounds claimed by Atiku in his claim is that Tinubu is unfit to govern the country, having been indicted for drug-related offenses in the United States and made to forfeit a sum of $460,000 as a compromise agreement. The PDP candidate also asked for Tinubu's disqualification for failing to secure 25% of the votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, which he claims is a constitutional requirement. President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu had earlier berated the presidential candidate of the PDP, Atikwa Bubakar, over his comment on him. Atiku had said that since 1993, when he began running for the presidency, he has done so without any controversy, unlike Tinubu, who is contending with alleged drugs and identity scandals. Atiku said this in his response to the preliminary objection filed by Tinubu and APC in reaction to Atiku's petition, challenging Tinubu's emergence as the winner of the presidential election. The PDP flag bearer stated that he towers above Tinubu, and there was no basis for comparison, having occupied the vice presidential seat for eight years, adding that unlike him, Tinubu is being dogged by many controversies. But in a shot with the punch on Wednesday, the APC Director of Media and Publicity, Bala Ibrahim, said he is happy that Atiku admitted that he is a perpetual loser. Ibrahim also berated the PDP presidential candidate for raising the drugs allegation leveled against Tinubu in his response to the president-elect. He said, I am happy that he admitted that he is a perpetual loser. If you know that you are a proud loser, why stand for an election that you know the outcome, even from where you stand? What's the point? Atiku further said that there is nothing to expect from the incoming administration of Bola Tinubu. He said Tinubu's manifesto against the backdrop of the present realities of dwindling revenue and a high inflation rate shows that there is nothing to expect from his government. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.